in today's live code session, we continue to build on the Jerry Life Caregivers project. Previously, we had created data model that uh, allows us to input activities along with participant roles and activity types, uh, linking, linking them together with foreign key. When I add an activity, I can select uh, from the participant role and activity types that are defined in the related table, add a start and end date time, and the data ends up here in the table. But I had stopped there, there was no front end. So today we worked on a front end representation of that same data and we'll go over the files that needed to change. Uh, right now I have this config file open uh, so I'll just start there. We just created a variable in our config for the uh, project directory. What this uh, is doing is basically getting the directory of this WSGI file which is when you're running the server this is what's serving up the data. It's saying this file here is representing this WSGI file and it's saying, go give me the directory name for that. So that would be core, and then go up one directory to the project. So we've got our project directory here. And I use that because we're gonna be writing some templates. Uh, so in our templates config, I added a directory. Uh, this project do directory uh, contains templates in the core templates directory. So all that was just so I could add a base template that handles the markup uh, styles that are used across all of our other templates. So it defines the HTML5 document and some CSS and JavaScript that's going to be useful as we go along. I'm using a material design uh, framework. published by Google, and we have an optional uh, block here to override or add extra CSS, and extra JavaScript, and then our content block is where the, the main content will be rendered. So from there, we essentially started working uh, in our activities app. I told Django that any anything that's not admin will uh, be mapped to our activities URLs and the namespace activities. So these activities URLs are it's essentially like a table of contents for your app. It helps um, to parse uh, requests into uh, the inner workings of your app. So a, um, a URL takes a path. In this case, we're using just this simple path um, module and uh, this is another root path but now this is in the root of the activities namespace and when uh, anything comes in on that root path it's going to map it to this activities list view and it's going to render that as a view and internally I can refer to that view as activities list so the activities list view is one of the Django built-in class based views it's called a list view it inherits from list view that is and I just gave it the name activity list view because it's essentially just going to render a list of or give us um, a list of activities to render into a template. So you just tell it the model and give it a human friendly uh, context name. Otherwise, I think it's called objects. So you'd be like for object and objects when you iterate over this list. And so if I call it activities in the template, I can, that's more meaningful. And I just told it explicitly what our template name is. Here's our activity model, by the way. Each activity has a start, an end, date time, an activity type, and participant role. Both are foreign keys to their respective um, classes and uh, essentially database tables. In the activities list, it's a little bit um, kind of verbose here because of all these class names, but it's essentially uh, I have a page header and we render a table that's a material design component data table and I render a table header with the values of a participant role activity type start and end for some reason these aren't coming up as bold as the uh, example documentation I'll, I'll get more into that as we go, go through the code again I'm perhaps missing a, uh, a class here or something 
uh, this table head might be missing a class, for example. But essentially, that's our header row. And then in, in the body, we just loop over the activities. So for activity and activities, this is that context object that was passed in from the view. And we render each activity as its own row. And each column renders the relevant attribute. So participant role, activity type, start and end date. And that's about it. That's in a nutshell how to get data from a Django table via uh, database table via the ORM, pass it into a template and render it. We'll be continuing uh, working with this material design library, making things look a little bit more polished. In the next session, we will also probably be adding an input form on the front end here. I don't know if it'll be a modal or another view. I'll have to uh, cross that bridge when it arises. In any case, this has been another live code session. Thanks for checking it out, and I hope you're doing well. Have a great day.